Like a lot of people who are lost and broken, uh, we're looking for something. It was rough. Um, I was pretty much homeless. You know, nobody really wanted to deal with me anymore. I felt alone. I went on a long journey that I can pretty much describe in a couple of words. I was just really confused, still lost. I knew of Jesus Christ, but I didn't really know him. Um, and then I know also what it's like to have that kind of bondage that is pretty clear, physically apparent to everybody else too, um, with my journey with you know uh, substance abuse and things like that. Alcohol and drugs is what I struggled with, and for me, I, like if you could picture it, I was I was trying to go on this spiritual journey and I was trying to go on this walk with God, but I was on that walk with him and I was carrying all of this baggage and all of these burdens and um, behaving in ways where I would pick up new baggage along the way, you know? And here I am trying to walk with God and he's so patient, you know, and he's just kind of sitting there like, hey, I can take those from you if you want. But I was, you know, reluctant to let them go. Yeah, I was just exhausted. <laughs> I was tired. I was out of answers. Um, I knew I needed some help that wasn't gonna be, that I could muster up from my own willpower. I said, I'm just gonna check in. I'm gonna check into rehab and, and that's it, you know? Um, you know, with a little nudge, you know? <laughs> um, but that was it, you know? But even then, that wasn't where it really turned around, you know? It was just, um, it, it took a little bit, it took a little bit of time, you know? Because somehow we, still had a little bit of pride left and things like that. Yes, yeah, so I was pregnant with Max and it was time to change. And I was scared to death um, because our lifestyle was totally not fit for a kid. So I did nudge him. I was at that point, um, well about to be my first time, a first time mom, I was at that point of either you gotta get your life together or get out of my life. You know, um, it was, I was scared. Yeah. I think that's the best way to, to describe it. I was scared and desperately wanted us to be okay, but felt, it felt impossible. Yeah. <laughs> it really did. And one day I, I just woke up and I was spiritually dead. I just felt, it didn't matter what was around me, whether I had the job, the house, it, it didn't matter. I just felt, so weak that I, I believe God brought me to my knees at that point to change me, to not look back, you know, to, to surrender, to surrender. God worked on us at different times, but brought us together where it needed to be. Like they say, God's timing is always right. And I haven't looked back since, and he hasn't looked back since. And statistically, where we came from, the majority of people don't make it. It's a miracle. Yeah, don't make it. But I like to say we're not one of those statistics, you know, and we did make it. And, and we have a foundation now that is stable, reliable, you know. Um, but it, but it, also, it also is being connected, you know, being connected. Being a part of, of Discovery has given me a purpose overall for my life. You know, because if God is going to come first in my life, then um, I, I need to be led. Um, I need to be a part of a community church. I, I just, I think of the word safe. It's a safe place to come as you are um, and really allow God to do the work in you that he's, that he's doing, um, that, he's, that he wants to do. You know, God's word tells us that, that, that he is going to do his will in us and he's doing, he's doing the work in us. Um, and wherever we are, it's only the beginning because uh, Discovery's made a huge impact in our community. I know because of what it's done for me. So there's a part of the community that you see things happen in the community, and then there's also things that you feel it happen. And I feel the, the easy way to find that out is if Discovery Church wasn't around tomorrow, would that, would that gap be felt? And I would say that that's a resounding yes, you know? Um, just from things that are going on all over the place. I've watched people come into church lost, broken, and now they're, they're, their whole goal is to go out there and try to help other people out. Mm -hmm. 
which is crazy, right? Um, to feel like uh, like we can't, there's no possible way I can be used by God to now being useful and a part of a bigger purpose. It just gave me purpose for my life. So that being multiplied over and over and over is an absolute huge impact in our community.